so welcome. I am Doris, uh, International Marketing Specialist here at Tallinn University. And what we're going to do today, first of all, I'm going to tell you briefly about Tallinn University overall. Uh, then my colleague will continue with the Human-Computer Interaction Program and then with Digital Library Learning Program. Then I'm going to tell you about the mission requirements, student life and a bit about our campus. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the chat window because my colleagues, Nella and Diana, will answer to all of your questions uh, in the chat. And later on, you can ask directly from us so we can answer it here online. So, first of all, a few quick facts about Tallinn University. Uh, Tallinn University, as it is today, was established in 2005 as a merger of uh, different institutes. At the moment, we have approximately 10,000 students studying here on BA, MA and PhD level, among whom approximately 700 are foreigners. Uh, most of our foreign students are from Finland, uh, from, and from Russia, Turkey, Latvia, Lithuania and so on. We have approximately 1,200 staff members here at Tallinn University, among whom 9.4% are uh, academic foreigners, uh, which makes uh, it makes it it's the highest percentage we have here in Estonian universities. Uh, we have 250 partner universities, which means, for example, uh, when you come here to study and you want to go abroad uh, with Erasmus Exchange Studies, you have a variety of universities to choose from. And at the moment, we have 26 academic units here at Tallinn University. Uh, we define ourselves as a leader and developer of smart lifestyle in Estonia, and we have directed our resources into five broad focus fields. Educational innovation, cultural competences, open society and governance, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Uh, we believe in individual approach to students. By that I mean our study groups, our courses are quite small, uh, which means our students have always the possibility to, to turn the lecture to the professor, to ask questions, discuss uh, some topics and matters. Uh, our campus, our main campus, is located in the heart of the city center. Uh, old town, which belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage, is only 10 minutes to walk away. Uh, harbor is five minutes, and also the bus station and airport are close by. And our 21st century facilities include uh, libraries, study rooms, modern classrooms, computer classes, and, for example, we even have our own cinema hall here. But now I will uh, give the floor to my colleague, and she will tell you more about the Institute of Informatics. Hello, everyone around the world. We... Uh have a viewers from Australia to Brazil today, uh, all corners of the world. And I'm really happy to present you um, the study opportunities at the Institute of uh, Informatics. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to tell you that uh, Tallinn University is actually undergoing major restructuring in order to come up with a uh, better um, uh, structure for um, interdisciplinary research and study. And, uh, most likely, um, Institute of Informatics will uh, join together with um, two other institutes, Institute of Information Sciences and the Department of Mathematics. And uh, our new name over 2015 might become uh, the Institute of Digital Technologies. So in case you would uh, view our uh, slides later on this year um, and search our website, Besides the title Institute of Informatics, you would also look for the title of Digital Technology or similar. Uh, our institute um, has currently three um, structures around which all our studies and research are centered. And the most uh, um, important uh, is uh, the Center of Educational Technology, um, which uh, is the leader of its field in Estonia and uh, uh, surrounding areas, countries, and um, I would say um, the road shower or the one who shows directions where to go in digital um, education and uh, digital uh, uh, information society in Estonia and the neighboring countries. Also, um, Estonian government is very um, 
keen on um, establishing um, the world leading uh, digital society in Estonia and uh, uh, we are here also enjoying the support of government in um, teaching uh, uh, ICT related uh, fields and uh, carrying out research and therefore um, uh, in case you are planning to come and study in Estonia this is definitely the place to be. A um, little bit about the new emerging uh, digital um, technologies institute. Uh, the mission is to um, implement and create uh, solutions which uh, support the um, developing of information society which is centered on people's, people's needs, uh, everyday life and uh, taking the maximum use of uh, the modern technology, helping everyday life uh, more enjoyable and easier. And um, our um, new institute or the formation of the new institute will be focusing on three, uh, sorry, five knowledge areas. And I would like to point out right now the first two, digital learning ecosystems and human-computer interactions. The digital learning ecosystems research group mainly focuses on updating digital technologies in, in learning situations, formal like schools, universities, elementary schools, or also informal learning like workplaces and uh, uh, everyday life, uh, social events, and, and so on. Uh, the other um, area I'd like to point out, uh, titled as human computer interaction, um, is researching and focusing mostly, mostly on um, all the aspects related to people using computers, interacting with IT technology, and um, uh, nowadays, it's not just only um, using the computers and IT technology tools, but it is the feeling and experiences which people um, uh, go through when they are actually um, using modern gadgets and tools. So it's also um, uh, sustainable design and user engagement and other aspects with what we are focusing here. And when you are thinking of coming to research and study at Tallinn University, then um, within the human computer interaction area, you can uh, specialize on the on the aspects most interesting to you, and we will do everything to support you in researching on those those aspects. Uh, here you see a list of our major keywords in the institute, uh, which have been collected based on uh, latest research and activities and development. And uh, now a little bit um, about our study program. First of all, uh, to give you an overview uh, of the entire academic setting, then we are teaching programs on every academic level, bachelor's, master's, as well as doctorate level, and also giving additional courses for those who are merely coming to university and interested in one or two subjects. There are summer schools specially uh, aimed for that, and also people are welcome actually to come and study one or two single courses of interest at Tallinn University as well. So first of all, our bachelor program, <coughs> which is taught in Estonian, uh, may, mainly focuses on uh, information technology and informatics. Uh, we have few courses which also exchange students or international students can take in English. But uh, we would actually like to see the most um, visiting and international students coming to our master program. And uh, first of all, the well-established uh, master program of human computer interaction, which has a special focus on interaction design area. It is two years master program. We expect students to come here and spend their two years in Tallinn, focusing on theory and uh, practical studies. Uh, the program is fully in English, so um, there is no language um, um, issues if you speak uh, uh, English language better than uh, B2 level. And um, from this year, actually, we have a new offer for those who, for some reason, are not able to come to Tallinn. Um, we are, together with um, uh, Cyprus University of Technology, we are um, going to offer a new um, master level program fully online. And it is called Interaction Design. And uh, compared to the local human computer interaction program here in Tallinn, then this um, online interaction design is um, merely focusing on the interaction design aspects and uh, not covering all the wide other aspects and choices what we have here in Thailand. So we would um, um, suggest if uh, 
only on a table to come to Tallinn, then you could consider interaction design online program, which we are doing together with Cyprus University of Technology as an alternative option. And then I would like to also mention that we have a doctorate program here for those who are more research oriented and uh, uh, would like to uh, go further on. Uh, the program is a four years program and it's titled Information Society Technology. Also possible to um, cover in English or, or in Estonian language as well. So shortly about the Human Computer Interaction Program or HCI as we uh, mention it uh, in a short form. Um, the main goal is to uh, prepare experts who actually understand and uh, know how to create user-friendly technology, which um, um, helps people to live their everyday lives, advances uh, people's capabilities and, and goals and desires, so that uh, using technology is not something of its own, but it is uh, seamless in our everyday life, and we, we do everything better using it than without it. The program is two-year program, lasting four semesters, and uh, uh, giving um, 120 European credit points. Uh, the semester fee is uh, 1,100 euros, and uh, then uh, we have four semesters. So if you're thinking how long it lasts, then we would say two years and four semesters. Uh, the program has its own website. Uh, the address is hci.du.de. You may uh, check it out uh, later or actually parallel to that slideshow as well. And um, uh, I will point out a few special features of the program. Um, especially, we are engaging our students um, on our research programs and um, projects. So every student uh, joining in uh, our program are expected to actually in very early on stage, um, know what they are interested in and select the uh, research topics. Also um, take part of the research project similar to their interests. And um, we have also very um, uh, international staff and uh, student body. Uh, so most likely we'll be exposed to ideas from all over the world. And uh, um, we also enjoy the a company of exchange students here from all over Europe. So uh, broadly speaking, half of our staff and half of our students are uh, international, and uh, uh, I, I believe it makes a really good um, foot for exchanging ideas and coming up with a good innovative solution. Here you see a list of uh, compulsory courses. Uh, if you're also thinking of the online program of interaction design, then these compulsory courses are roughly similar, um, but on our local HCI program, we will also have a bunch of um, or a group of uh, selective courses which everyone can uh, take in addition to the compulsory subjects. And uh, <coughs> here is a list of electives. You, you can see some of them, of course, not the entire list. Uh, also, if you would um, like to examine further how the studies go, then I put on this slide um, um, overview of the courses which form the main studies of HCI. And um, in addition to, um, to this um, slide, every student has um, roughly 16 uh, credit points of elective studies or free studies which they can choose entirely according to their own interest. There is no restriction in that. Um, well, let's take a quick overview of the study process as well. Um, the topics or the courses uh, listed before, uh, uh, I put now um, on the scale of two years. You can see, um, <coughs> starting from left, you can see that the yellow boxes uh, representing uh, compulsory uh, courses are mostly taking place in first uh, and uh, the second semester and fifth year. And on the second year, uh, students are um, uh, free to focus on elective courses, which <clears throat> match their um, research interests. But also parallel to the first and second year, they are expected to um, do their independent course selection of uh, free electives and uh, and continuously um, find other supportive courses uh, besides the uh, compulsory ones to to come out with a better master thesis in the end. Uh, here I've uh, put the one schedule uh, from uh, 
uh, next uh, week. Our studies are organized not every week, but in every second week. And um, not in from Monday to Friday, but actually from Thursday to, to Saturday. Um, which means that the one week between uh, each study week is for group work, independent studies, independent research activities. And um, you might find this a little bit different than uh, in general, but this actually is um, helping the students to take strong focus on one area of interest instead of um, being split between different subjects every week. Um, we also have, uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, we have um, uh, uh, the, the schedule planned in such way in order to have maximum benefit from visiting international lecturers uh, and uh, students have enjoyed that so far. Here are a few of our uh, main uh, uh, professors and lecturers, uh, you can uh, Google and uh, read more about their research later. Uh, but um, I've uh, put the names here and uh, some of the courses they are teaching so that you could uh, go into further details uh, on, your, on your own. After graduation, um, all our students so far has, uh, have enjoyed uh, being um, employed. The employing rate is very high, um, probably close to 100 because students are already working parallel to studies as well. And uh, the main um, purpose um, is to uh, give um, students um, all the goals uh, or the um, skills necessary to uh, support the local IT companies in uh, designing user-friendly um, uh, environments and tools, uh, but also being able to um, um, develop the general understanding how things, especially ICT um, software and tools, should work in a, in a society, and becoming the basically becoming the leaders of the thought in in our country or any other country where they are coming from. A uh, little bit also about admissions. Um, in general, uh, as in general requirements, um, our applicants need to have hold a bachelor's degree or corresponding qualifications from their earlier studies. And uh, we also expect our applicants to have some experience from the fields of informatics, uh, computer science, uh, design, or social sciences, uh, which gives them a good uh, starting point in the master studies. Um, there are also some country specific admission requirements which you might have to check uh, from our university's website to, to make sure that um, that what, ap um, what applies to uh, to you and to uh, citizens from your country that you wouldn't miss those. And I would like to point out that the deadlines for ap applications are uh, different depending on what your what country you are coming from. Those who are uh, coming from outside of European Union um, area or European um, um, uh, economic area, uh, for them uh, the application deadline is 1st of May, um, especially to um, give the time for visa process and, uh, and the certification of documents. And for the EU, EU European Union um, citizens or citizens from Russia, Turkey, Ukraine, the deadline is 1st of July, um, and um, everyone is welcome to um, to apply already starting from today. Um, only the deadlines are the ones uh, which close the application period, but you can start already today. Um, I would like to point out uh, one more aspect about human computer interaction program uh, is uh, we have an entrance exam which uh, is composed of um, uh, three parts. First of all, um, we expect you to um, create your digital portfolio and um, upload it in the internet or email it to um, our contact uh, uh, official. Then also please uh, um, provide a motivation letter which explains your interest in research and studies at um, our program. And um, these are different deadlines uh, than the admission deadlines. I would like to point out that uh, for example, uh, if you are not coming from EU, EU you're, for example, coming from uh, Ukraine or um, any other country, 
Uh, actually, I would say that if you come from other continents and your um, application deadline is 1st of May, then you are still able to compose your portfolio and provide your motivation letter until May 5th. Um, at the same time, if you are applying from within European Union and uh, or uh, Russia, Turkey and Ukraine, you have more time to compile your portfolio because um, we need it before the actual interview. And um, the interview times are not uh, fixed yet. We will announce it on our program's website uh, a bit later, depending how many candidates are applying this year. Um, there are also um, several scholarships, uh, depending on which country you're coming from uh, or what are your circumstances. circumstances. I've listed here some links. Um, please feel free to click on them later and, uh, and read uh, further on from the website or also from the Human Computer Interaction Program site. Um, and we also have a Facebook um, uh, uh, circle. Please join in, get the latest news, what's going on, and uh, start discussing already the uh, current students so that you would be well prepared once you come and join us. Uh, there are other options. Um, I mentioned this online master's program in interaction design. Uh, for those who are not able to come uh, uh, to Estonia, uh, they, their website is idmaster.eu. Please um, be kind to check this site out with uh, for details. And um, uh, there is a list of courses which are offered on the online master's program. Oh, I'm sorry for the spelling mistake up there in the title. Uh, and um, uh, there is um, also, um, one deadline for an application, which is uh, 1st of July, because in this program, um, you might not need a visa to come to that country, actually, and therefore, you can apply later than the Human Computer Interaction Program. Um, let's see. Now, um, if uh, you would have any questions uh, regarding the Human Computer Interaction field, I would be happy to answer. And then I will turn uh, the floor over to my colleague from the Institute of Information Studies. Mm -hmm. One um, question which has been presented in chat. Uh, um, but I would clarify um, where the study programs are actually taking place, and I will uh, explain um, further. Then uh, we have two master programs: one is fully online, and one is uh, uh, taking place at Tallinn University in Estonia. Uh, the one taking place here at Tallinn is uh, titled Human Computer Interaction, uh, two-year master program, and uh, the other program was just Interaction Design. Um, it, uh, it's uh, teaching uh, basically focuses on one year for, uh, of courses and is carried out totally over internet. Uh, so um, if it, you are able to come over to Tallinn, to Estonia, then um, you have a possibility to enjoy our program of human computer interaction. In case you cannot come here, then the other program is titled Interaction Design. Uh, thank you very much, and I will uh, let my colleagues come and continue from here. Hello, everybody. I am going to talk about uh, this is a library learning master program, and I, I am happy to be here and introduce this program to you. And um, to start with, First, I would like to say some words about the Institute, which is um, offering the master program. And I should say that uh, our Institute of Information Studies has had uh, different uh, names during the years, and we have been in this university since 1965. 
and uh, we have belonged to different uh, faculties, for example, for the faculty of uh, culture, for the faculty of uh, philology, for the faculty of uh, social sciences, and all these faculties have influenced a little bit uh, the development of our curriculum. And uh, since uh, 2008, we are the Independent Institute of Information Studies, but as Katre already told before, we have a large structural reform in our university and from the September 2015, we probably will be in the, in the new institute uh, and uh, we are not quite sure about the name yet, but probably it will be the Institute of Digital Technologies and uh, our um, other departments or other units there are informatics and mathematics units. And um, uh, but uh, I, I would like to say that uh, it has been quite natural that we belong to the Institute of uh, Digital Technologies because in our institute we have had all the time quite strong focus on technology. And we have uh, I have put here on the slides uh, some signposts, for example, because we can tell that the Internet came to Estonia in 1992 and already in 1993 we started to teach Internet Internet in our curriculum. And in 1995 to 1997, we offered the first IT based distance education program for school librarians. And in 1996, we established the e journal info forum, which was actually the first official e journal in Estonia. In 1996, we uh, experimented quite heavily with uh, audio and video conferences technologies, and in 2003, we started to provide online master in information management and also uh, designed informational literacy e-learning tutorial, which is still used uh, in our higher ed education institutions and also at school level. And in 2007, we started with that Erasmus Mundus joint master called Digital Library Learning. It means that um, we got support from Erasmus Mundus to deliver this program. And um, in, in addition to technology, we have also very, very strong focus on internationalization. And um, we have a very wide uh, international network. And uh, at the moment, we have 24 Erasmus agreements uh, with uh, many countries in Europe. And we have also participated in many, many international projects, uh, uh, almost all European Commission projects, for example, the framework, COST network, FARE, Tempus, Leonardo da Vinci, Comenius, Minerva, and, and so on. And, and uh, already in 2003, together with uh, my colleague from Parma University, we started to develop uh, this digital library learning program. And, uh, um, uh, so my uh, main idea why we started to develop, develop, develop this program was that we believed that uh, um, library and information science education in Europe is quite a traditional one and we wanted to create something innovative uh, which is uh, connected with modern technology and then we started to develop this program. And uh, in the beginning, there were only two partners, the Parma University and Tallinn University, but then we decided to uh, invite also colleagues from Oslo University College. And um, in 2007, we got the Erasmus Mundus support for the program, and then we delivered the program uh, together with Oslo University College, uh, Parma University and Tallinn University. But uh, since um, 2015, we uh, deliver only the program by um, uh, Parma University and Tallinn University because uh, Oslo University can't join with different, uh, in different reasons. And the main aim of the program is to provide knowledge and skills to navigate in the complex world of digital libraries and digital librarianship. And uh, what makes the program unique is also that uh, we don't focus only one sum, uh, in, in one dimension, but we try to connect a technical dimension, economic and social dimensions. And uh, how the program is organized? 
Uh, I, I should still say yes, but even uh, also it's not anymore in the program. We still follow the same structure. In the first sem uh, semester, we will have a summer school uh, before it was in Oslo. Now the summer school is in Tallinn. And then both uh, Tallinn University and Parma University deliver one module. I will talk about these modules a little bit later. In the second semester, the courses are um, delivered by Tallinn University, in the third semester by uh, Parma University, and also internship is included to the Parma modules. It means that students have to make the internship in very prestigious uh, uh, digital library centers in the Europe. And the, in the first semester, students uh, can choose, uh, they should choose a master thesis and they can choose a place uh, where they would like to do it, uh, in Tallinn or in Parma. And it, it, it uh, depends what is a concrete topic and uh, what is uh, the interest of the supervisor. And before we start our um, modules, uh, we contact Diagnostic Analysis Survey. It is something that we have done since 2008 and we have found that it is very, very beneficial. And we do it before the courses uh, or modules start and um, because we try to find out uh, what are the expectations and uh, and, and needs of learners, for example, um, related to the course content, content, what is their previous knowledge and skills in the area, uh, what is, what are their expectations, what are their learning needs, uh, learning styles, how they like to learn, what are their technological requirements, uh, and, and so on. And then we can adapt the program the best way to the students' needs and expectations. Then, again about the structure, I said that in the first semester, both Stalin University and Parma University deliver two um, uh, modules. Both modules are PC and ECDS, and uh, one module is Research Methods and Theory of Science, uh, delivered by Dunlin, and uh, Digital Knowledge Organization is uh, delivered by Parma University. In second semester, both uh, modules are delivered by Dunlin, both are 15 ECDS, Information and Knowledge Management, and Human Resource Management. Then in the third semester, we have also two modules, both 15 ECDS, and both modules are delivered by Parma. And the names of the, of the modules are Access to Digital Libraries and Users and Users of Digital Libraries. And as, as I said before, in the fourth semester, uh, the students uh, will do their master's. And uh, what is uh, unique in this program? Uh, first, uh, very um, unique is that uh, we, we are very flexible. We offer all possibilities to students to learn. You can learn as a campus student. You can learn completely as an online student. A student and we also offer blended um, learning mode. About pedagogical approach, uh, we very much uh, follow con constructivist approach to learning. It means that you as a student, you are responsible for your own learning and um, constructing yourself, uh, your interpretations and meaning of things. And uh, 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 we don't um, support the knowledge transfer model, but we believe that the knowledge should be constructed by learners. And we also believe very much that the learning is a social activity and you develop and construct your knowledge together with your peer students and your tutors. We also try to provide very much um, very broad perspective and uh, multiple perspectives. And it means that we look the same uh, phenomenon from multiple point of views and uh, we integrate, um, for example, different um, research views, for example, to some phenomenon. We have uh, teachers from, from Asia, we have teachers from from uh, from United States, from Australia, and we try to integrate all these perspectives. Then uh, we very much encourage our students uh, to make research and also um, present and publish their research. 
uh, we have had uh, experience, for example, in our deal program since 2008, that uh, during the last um, semester when students prepare their uh, master thesis, that we um, will go to the conference called Qualitative and Quantitative Methods of Libraries. We have been there all years, and our students present their, their research results, which will be published later in the proceedings, and also in the Journal of uh, um, Qualitative and Quantitative Methods of li Libraries. Uh, we encourage very much uh, also um, our students to pub publish uh, all, already during their study drive. We have experiences that students have published uh, in, in uh, very, very review journals already during their study time. We use um, very much technology in our education, and even when in the beginning we had Erasmus Mundus program, and it, is, it was meant as a campus program, we already then used heavily information and communication uh, technology to support students' study. We used social software, we used Skype, we use learning management system Moodle, we use multiple media, video conferences, audio, and we also have developed, especially for our students, open educational resources that students can access. We also encourage students to take MOOCs, which are related to our course. To make a short summary, uh, even uh, some courses are um, taught in Parma and some in Tallinn, then we take the pro program as an integrated whole. We integrate theory and practice, we use constructive approach to learning, we, we encourage multiple perspectives and re representations of content, we use interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach, we integrate media and we start or list with diagnostic analysis. As I said before, that we very much integrate multiple multiple perspectives and representations of content, and there are many many world famous library and information science researchers and even outside of library information science who have contributed to our program and who are still contributing to our program. And here are some pictures of them, and if you have, you are familiar with library and information science, then these people don't need any introduction. Everybody knows Carol Kultau, everybody knows Peter Ingerson, Tom Wilson, um, uh, Ron Day, uh, Robert Hayes, and so on. And uh, outside library and information circles, uh, I also think that the name of Etienne Wenger don't need any introduction. Why you should choose SIL program? I already said about the flexibility of program. We have no different program for online uh, students or campus students or plenty students. We can try to do all this uh, within the uh, one program. You can choose uh, the campus mode or online mode or blended mode. Then you can you can get an opportunity to study in international groups and in multicultural context and you can study if you understand better to European cultures, Estonian culture and and Italian culture. And after that uh, you can also continue at PhD level at Tallinn University or Parma University. And uh, to give you some overview of what has happened uh, by far, we have had uh, during the period 2007 to 2014, 127 students from 55 countries. We have had uh, 74 female students and 53 male students, and the youngest students have been 22, and the uh, oldest students, 52. Then we have quite a uh, um, variety of uh, ages. And, and uh, but to be honest, uh, the middle age is something uh, 30. Yeah. And here is one uh, example of the countries. Um, uh, what 
represent still program and we have had uh, many students from from Nepal, for for example, ten students from Nepal, ten students from Italy, uh, eight students from Ethiopia, and then other countries have a little bit less, less, but uh, still fifty five countries have been represented here. I have here some illustrative examples of different field courses that you can can get uh, some visual feeling. For example, here is our first field group, field one. Now you see our field second group. Then we have here the field third, fourth group. Then we have fifth group. Here we have. The till sixth, then we have some students from the till seven, and in this picture we have students from till eight. And if you are going to apply, then you will be the till nine. And opportunities. What kind of opportunities you have after graduation? So the program is designed to prepare information professionals who have all who have or will have responsibility for managing digital conversation pro uh, conversion programs and implementing digital libraries or conducting digital library education programs. And uh, our graduates have knowledge and skills necessary to function in the complex world of digital libraries in different sectors of society. And before I give the floor to uh, Doris, who will talk about the admission requirements, uh, I would like to ask if you have some questions. I don't see here any questions. The last, the last comment is thank you, Patrick. <laughs> It seems that uh, there is no questions at the moment. Then I give the floor to Tori. Thank you. So hi again. Uh, about the admission requirements. Uh, first of all, uh, this applies for both for the human computer interaction and the digital library learning program. You have to fill in the online application. You, uh, you can find the online application at estonia.dreamapply.com. And uh, there is one question about the online, uh, 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 online admission exam. Uh, we're going to tell about the de uh, deadlines a bit later. But the overall deadline for digital library learning program now, when you have to, this is the deadline, uh, when you have to have applied everything, all the documents, is 30th of March 2015. For human computer interaction, it was the 1st of May and the uh, 1st of July. Yeah. But for digital library learning, 13th of March. Then after you have uh, filled in the online application, you have to send by, by post. And if you, when you have paid the application fee, which is 80 euros, you have to send by post the online application cover, printed and signed, and copy of your bachelor's degree certificate and transcripts of records. Uh, the translation is requested if the documents are not in English. And both of the copies and translations must be attested by a notary. After that, you need to prove your English proficiency. You need to have English at least on B2 level. You can prove your English with the most well-known tests at Yelts or Twaffel, for example. Uh, you can carry out the test at the, at the Language Center and they will send the results directly to Tallinn University. And also, there is a possibility to carry out the test uh, here at Tallinn University. But yeah, for that, you have to be present here in Tallinn, in Estonia. But there is a possibility. After that, you can upload to the online application system copy of your identification page of your passport and the receipt of payments of the application fee. And as Katja already also said, there are some country-specific requirements. For example, students uh, coming from Finland, if you have graduated with cum laude, you don't uh, don't have to. Uh, sorry, there are some uh, comments in the chat window, and my focus goes there at the moment. But about the country-specific requirements, once again, uh, for example, if you are from Finland and if you are graduated with cum laude, you don't have to prove your English proficiency. 
uh, you can go and check our website for the country specific requirements if something uh, applies for you or not. And after that, you need to pass the program specific requirements. And for the DIL program, uh, it's good if you have knowledge and skills with computers or information use. Uh, you have to fill in the statement of purpose in English. Uh, what is your motivation? Why you want to uh, study the program? What are your plans? Then a reference letter, uh, one to three pages. And last but not least, uh, you will have an interview with the admission committee. And if you cannot come to Estonia, of course, there's a possibility to carry out via Skype. For that, you need to have a webcam, too. A uh, few words about the student life here in Tallinn. Uh, a lot of our applicants ask uh, about their study allowances. The answer is yes, we have study allowances for students who have been already admitted to Tallinn University. Uh, one possibility is to apply for the needs-based study allowance for students uh, from financially disadvantaged backgrounds. And the allowance is 75 up to 220 euros per month during the whole study period. So at master's, two years. There is also a study allowance based on your study results. If you have a good average grade, then there is a possibility to get an allowance 100 euros per month during one semester. That means that you have to apply each semester again. And uh, each semester your grades will be checked. And if the grades are average grade is good, then most probably you will get the allowance. Uh, here at Tallinn University, we have our own uh, student union. Uh, under the student union, there are different units and uh, organizations, such as International Club that organizes events for international students. It's in Tallinn, for example, organizes events for exchange students. We even have our own student TV that broadcasts you the latest news through the week. We have our own culture club, sports club, photo club, other cultural collectives, even our own student cafe and the childcare. About your accommodation, a lot of applicants ask us if we have dormitories. Yes, we have dormitories, but in order to get a place, you have to fill in the application rather, rather fast. Uh, there is a, where our own dormitory, Tallinn University dormitory, that's just around the corner of the main campus, so again in the heart of the city centre. There are double rooms for the price of 170 euros and 50 cents per month. Then there is cheap rest dormitory. There are double and single rooms. The price for double room is 170 euros. Uh, the price for single room is 340 euros. The eco dormitory. Uh, there are double and triple rooms. The price for both is 150 euros. Of course, you always have the possibility to rent an apartment by yourself, uh, with your friends, with your course mates. And the prices vary. Uh, they can start from 200 euros, can go up to 400, 500, 600. Uh, if you want to know more about the possibilities of accommodation, then go please to dlu.ee slash housing. There are also listed different uh, online platforms uh, where, where you can see what kind of uh, apartments are available and what's the price of those. Uh, the cost of living here in Tallinn. The monthly living costs are approximately 300 to 500 euros, not including the accommodation. Of course, it depends on yourself how much can you spend and how much you want to spend. But here are just a few examples of the prices. For example, student meals here at the university are three to seven euros. Uh, the public transport is free of charge uh, for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets are 12 to 18 euros, concert tickets 8 to 13 euros, and so on. This is just, those are just a few examples. Work and internship. Uh, there is a possibility to work during your studies. You can, you, you can work, even if you're studying full time. Uh, you have the possibility to go and uh, see what are, the, what are the options, what are the job offers, if you go to study in estonia.ee slash working. There are also listed different online platforms where the organizations can upload their job offers. So you can see how's the job market here at the moment. Also, you always have the possibility to ask directly from the institute some contacts or from our uh, career and counseling center. A uh, few words about our campus, uh, campus here in the city center. All of our buildings have uh, Latin names, so our students could recognize where they have to go for their class. First of all, Terra, uh, the earth, represents academic traditions. This is the oldest building of Tallinn University. Then Astra. The stars represent uh, 
achieving their goals. This is the newest addition to Tallinn University built in 2012. Then Silva, forest represents researchers, also known as the language building. Nova, new, represents innovation. Nova houses Baltic Film and Media School. There is also located the cinema hall, I told you before, where all the students of Tallinn University can see films for free. Ursa, a bear, represents defending your ideas and it uh, houses the Institute of Fine Arts. Mare, the C, represents openness and there are different institutes, classrooms, seminar rooms and so on. Uh, just a few pictures of our facilities here. Then a few words about uh, Tallinn Summer and the Winter School. Uh, there are short courses during the Thailand summer and winter school. The uh, summer school takes place in July from 13 to 31st. The winter school is usually in January from 4th to 22nd of January. During the summer school, we have usually uh, about 350 participants. During the winter school, a bit less, 60 or so. Uh, all, uh, every time, 85% uh, of the applicants are international students. So when you come here, you meet a lot of uh, new people from lots of different countries. Additional uh, to different courses, what we offer during the Thailand summer and winter school, during the summer school, we offer approximately 25 different courses, language courses, creative courses, IT courses, and so on. Uh, you have the possibility to attend the cultural program. Uh, which means that the participants are taken to the museums, to study trips outside of Tallinn and so on. If you want to know more about the summer or winter school, then I suggest you to go to summerschool.tlu.de or winterschool.tlu.de. Now I will give the floor to my colleague once again, and uh, she will tell you more about the information and knowledge management in digital environments. This is one program uh, in the summer school, yeah? Hello, everybody. And uh, as already my colleague told, I would like to invite you to take part of the Information and Knowledge Management and Digital Environment Summer School. And uh, this is the summer school we are, we, meaning the colleagues from the Institute of Information uh, Studies, are offering already second year. And uh, this year, this uh, course will take place in the middle of July, in the middle of uh, nice Estonian summer, uh, from uh, 13 to 17th of uh, July. And uh, this course, Information and Knowledge Management in Digital Environment, actually is based on uh, our Digital Library Learning Master Program. Uh, my colleague Celia just uh, told you about it a couple of uh, minutes ago. And uh, we decided to develop from our modules, which uh, we are offering as a part of um, Digital Library Learning Master Program, um, as an information and knowledge management and the human resource management course. So we decided to use, let's say, our knowledge and skills to uh, deliver those two courses, and we created these five days. Uh, summer school. Of course, it's always very difficult to choose what kind of topics uh, you may include to the five days course, and we decided to um, have um, the topics related to the change management in digital environment, uh, models uh, understanding and approaches to change, then, of course, the techniques, uh, frameworks which are supporting the change models. And the other uh, aspect is the framework for the information and knowledge management in an organization, human resource management, its external context, organizational information culture, and uh, leadership and teamwork. So uh, those are the topics um, what we will cover during our five days um, in summer school. and. Uh, uh, we uh, would like to invite you to take part. Please consider about this opportunity to see Tallinn, to see Tallinn University, and to be part of our international summer school team. Thank you. And I will give the floor to Katra again. I'd like 
happy one, give you um, a little information about the courses uh, in our summer school program, which uh, are taught by the Institute of uh, Informatics. And uh, first of all, we have um, uh, four courses all together, but um, I will start with the experimental interaction design course, which is a two-week course and intended for those who uh, want to get to know the basics of interaction design, want to try something uh, directly um, with their own hands. It's going to be a very intensive and very interesting uh, hands-on course um, with mini lectures about the theoretical, theoretical background and then right on everyone can join in teamwork and uh, start developing their own uh, uh, prototypes and learn as they go. Uh, the next course which uh, would like to also point out is uh, uh, meant for advanced level. It is about research methods in human computer interaction. We are mostly offering it for doctorate students or prospective doctorate students, but also master students and uh, people re uh, interested in research um, uh, are welcome to join in. And uh, this is a one week course. Uh, both courses are taking place in uh, July and um, uh, they are to give uh, interested people uh, enough background to uh, uh, continue uh, their own um, research and discover in the field and who would like to take it to academic level, then these people can uh, get their first uh, idea what is the research field about and then they can enter our study program. Um, there, is two, there are two more courses. One is called the Design of Serious Games. Uh, it is a one-week course and uh, in uh, connection with one of our local uh, research projects here. Uh, this is about games and gaming and uh, creating games which actually help people uh, to uh, learn something or do some serious business besides uh, uh, having fun. Uh, the course is very popular and interesting and I uh, will recommend it definitely. Uh, there is one brand new course this uh, summer, which is about uh, free and open uh, source software for uh, so-called regular users, but it is meant to be everyday people who know how to use their uh, computer in their everyday life, but would like to take advantage of all the freeware and software, out, open source software out there. And this is an overview course and uh, giving also possibility to try different uh, options um, all uh, by yourself. Um, and also, if this is a one-week course, so we have one uh, course uh, for two weeks, which uh, is uh, um, experimental interaction design, and then we have three courses uh, which last one week, and you can see uh, more details at the uh, summer school website. Thank you. So. Last but not least, I suggest you to contact our students and alumni in case you have any questions regarding the overall student life here at Tallinn University, about university or uh, specifically about the study programs. If you go to tlu.de slash ambassadors, there you find the contacts of, uh, of our students and alumni who represent our English-based degree programs. So go ahead and ask directly that. And I suggest you to follow us in social media also. Uh, in Facebook, you can find us if you type in Tally University. We are also in my contact here, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Trauge. And last but not least, in case you have any specific questions about the admission procedure, then I suggest you con to contact our admission specialist, admissions at tlu.ee. And meanwhile, you can go and check up our webpage, tlu.ee.